Remember how sugar beets were the first crop to be seeded? They are also the last plant to be harvested. Sugar beets will spend all summer growing and soaking up the Alberta sun and drinking lots of water. But because southern Alberta is so hot and dry, farmers can't rely on the weather for enough rain. Instead, they use pivots to make sure their crops get enough moisture. A pivot is an irrigation system that travels across the field in a big circle, delivering water to the plants. Farmers can carefully calculate the rate and speed that that pivot travels to make sure the sugar bees get the right amount of water. Then, once September rolls around, harvest begins. There are 200 sugar beet farmers in southern Alberta, but only a small portion will begin harvesting their beets in the beginning of September. This is because the factory has to gear back up into production, so they take just enough beets to get everything back to work. Then, after a few weeks, main harvest will begin. During this time, over 900,000 tons of sugar beets will be dug out of the ground. To harvest sugar beets, farmers first chop the leaves and tops off using a defoliator. The leaves will stay in the field and break down over the winter, helping to return extra nutrients to the soil. After defoliation, a digger is used to harvest the beets from the ground. It has multiple sets of round blades that swivel in the dirt on an angle. Once they reach the sugar beet, the beets get pinched between the two blades and is picked out of the ground. It then gets passed into the body of the digger and travels through a large circular conveyor. From there, the beets will get loaded into a truck and that truck will bring them to the piling grounds. This is the site where the beets are kept for the winter. At the grounds, the beets will get unloaded into massive piles, hundreds of feet long. The sugar beets are stored like this until they are able to be processed at the factory.